Hey guys, this is Maria. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to read this article about Adidas losing so much money because Ye, also known as Kanye West, is no longer with them. And in my opinion, I strongly believe when Adidas dropped Kanye West, they thought whatever merchandise they had, they would be doing business as usual. You know, they'll be making millions, billions without Kanye West being around. And they realized they got it completely wrong because Kanye West has a fan base that without Kanye West, there was no Jeezy. Without Kanye West, there was no Adidas. I guess they realized that now they are trying to see if he can come back and do business as usual. And he has to get himself together and realize, you know what? At the end of the day, I lost $1.5 billion in one day. They are losing money every day. So what are we going to do? Come to the table, have a nice dinner and talked it out you know when if you guys get back together you let them know by now on you need to know without me there was no adidas without me there was no jeezy in a nice calm professional way because since yay left i don't think people really buy anything from adidas and to take it back and try to do a little research when i came to this country 30 something years ago i realized the only brand name shoes you would heard of would be Jordan, Nike, you know, the upper scales one. But then you would hear Adidas, Puma, like so so. They were not on top of their game. We have to give Ye credit for bringing Adidas to the top of the game and Balenciaga. You know, he was the brand behind those big name companies. So. When you thought you made it without him, you can continue making your billions without him. You get it all wrong. You get it all wrong. Again, I'm going to read this article on how much money Adidas losing and why they think they should have Kanye West back. And what I think he should do at the end of the game. Because remember, it's all about business. If you can make your billions triple or quadruple what you lost, why not? You know, just go for the money, man. I know it's not all about money. I know you have your new wife. You have four kids at the end of the day to, you know, take care of. And you're going to need your money, man. But this time, be very careful. Let them know. Without you, there was no yay. Without you, there was no Jeezy. Without you, there was no Adidas. You are the brand of this company. And they need to respect that. And I promise you, you'll be making three, four times of what you lost. And of course... The title billionaire will be back into your name and i know you cannot wait to have that title back all right it's auntie crypto marie telling you yay and i know how you are okay let's see adidas tambos as uh losses from its kanye west venture piled up shares and Ger and german spokes where brand fell sharply on friday as a company grapples with a mountain of unsold Jeezy merchandise. Of course, what do you expect? This man control the social media. If he's not happy, his fans not gonna be happy. And the shoes are very nice. Like whenever I see a yay, a Jeezy shoes, somebody wearing them, I recognize it. You could see Kanye's signature all over it because he put his touch on it. He put his, you know, his heart in it and that's his brand so without him in it you thought you were still gonna be making money give me a break b john gordon has been chief uh executive at adidas for just six weeks and he's already warning that year one will be a mess well yeah created the mess adidas shares fell more than 12 percent on friday morning Whipping roughly 3 billion euros or about 3.2 billion dollars in market value after the German spot where Giant issued its fourth profit warning in the past six months and said it expected big loss in 2023. The biggest cul culprit, the company's messy split last year with the musician Kanye West, which could knock uh, 1.2 billion of full year sales and 500 million of its operating profit and even greater loss than adidas had calculated just four months ago in october adidas 
severed its business alliance with the rapper who is known who is now known as Ye after he went on an anti-Semitism anti-Semitic rant and immediate priority for Mr. Golden who was poached from Adidas Costan rival Puma is figuring out how to sell the mountain of unsold inventory from Yeezy line. I mean, listen, you are out of your mind thinking you're going to sell them without him being in business with you guys. Come on. Wall Street had already been expecting a wealthy year for Adidas and Mr. Golden, but the latest profit warning seemed to catch many who follow the company off guard. There was a lot of work to be done across corporate culture product lower cell through weight excess inventory and digesting easy exit, all of which can be done but will take time. Power Dahania and Equity Analysis at RBC Capital Markets wrote in an investor note. Adidas faces numerous challenges beyond its breakup with Ye. The company had been losing market shares to Nike and other rivals. Its expensive pullout from Russia and prolonged weakness in the China have weighed on sales. And its clothing partnership with Beyonce is also reportedly underperforming sales of the singer's Ivy Park line are well off the company's inter internal projections according to the wall street journal you see beyonce is suffering because Ye is no longer around one thing about the black community if you hurt one of us you hurt all of us so you hurt Ye, you make Ye loss uh 1.5 billion for sure beyonce was not going to do well because beyonce is a black woman Ye is a black man and when you hurt one of us, somehow you end up hurting all of us. That's what they don't understand. Mr. Golden, who had success turning around Puma's business after he joined that company in 2013, announced a broad strategic review that will cost Adidas $200 million. I am convinced that over time we will make Adidas shine again, he said, but we need some time. Sir. Adidas will shine again if you can find somebody bigger than Kanye West. If not, your best bet will be have a meeting, a business meeting with him. Sit down, apologize, do something. Because I don't think you guys had, with all the respect, the Jewish people in mind when you guys drop Ye. You had your own consideration of making more money thinking if Ye not there, the merchandise you had already accumulated will be selling like pan caliente had bread and it doesn't matter it will be business as usual but what you don't know yay was the brand of the whole thing so you lose weight uh you lost yay kanye west you lost everything now you realize that because you're losing billion you make him lose 1.5 billion in one day you're losing three point something billion in months so think about it is it worth it at the end of the day and my question to you guys do you think yay should go back conduct business with adidas act like business as usual nothing ever happened shake hand eat a nice meal and it will be an advantage for both both will be making money or you think we should go separately let me know how you feel again when it comes to business i am for yay and i want yay to succeed and i want him to win i want him to since you already have a partnership with those people adidas and now they realize without you, there was no Adidas, there was no Jeezy, there was no billions, there was no money. So I want you to take it together with your new wife. Go sit down and have a talk with them. Let them know, listen, we both are losing money because of whatever happened to either me or the company. And we have to look at in the well-being of us making money. Let's, you know, scratch it off, shake hand, business as usual. And go back to business better and stronger than ever before. Create more Jeezy's. Create better things. And before you know it, 
whatever 1.5 billion you lost will be double triple again yay is up to you it's from you know auntie crypto marie she does it all a little bit of everything in my opinion i think you should go back talk to them because so many people already know you through adidas and uh, build a better uh, in a bigger gz collection with adidas or if you feel like it'll be better for you to have your own company taking over doing your own thing listen whatever way you go i'll support you at the end of the day it's all about you and we all know you're a genius whatever decision you make will be good for you and your kids future again may god bless you and your you and your new family and uh, bianca sensory have some beautiful kids just like the one you already have it's never too much to have more than four, more than five or ten, whatever it is. You're in charge. You're in control. God bless you all. Let me know, guys, what you think. Should Ye go back with Adidas into business or should he create his own brand as Jeezy and make things explode? Because you know the fan going to be there supporting him. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. Bye.